Asadek Nasir is the messenger of Tehran's Khaja Nasir University, carrying the heavy burden of the responsibility to promote green technology in one of the world's most polluted cities. The tiny blue electric car prototype is also a light at the end of the tunnel for traffic officials. Only 750 kilograms the two-seater plug-in is the result of 10 months of hard work of 14 graduate and undergraduate students, including 24-year-old Banafsheh. At first, it was only the annual electric car competition in Sharif University that mattered. You know, it's going to be held in a month or so. But then we decided to build something that could actually affect our everyday lives. That's why we decided to use steel for the body instead of fiberglass and considered vehicle safety. We weren't taken very seriously and no one thought that this could, in practical terms, actually be the first step to introduce electric cars to Iran. Head of the team, Professor Afshar, however, prefers to have a more realistic approach. This is not an exceptional car. It won't be correct to say that it is extraordinary. Electric cars have been in use in many other parts of the world for a while. But this is the first time that it's being built in Iran by students in a university. The team had to spend $11,000 to build the fully handmade Qasidak, which, more than a messenger, is a symbol of self-reliance. Charging time for the battery is 8 to 10 hours. Then it can offer you 80 kilometers of green drive at 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. We believe that it is suitable for in-city travel. And in the busy streets of the capital, its small size could definitely be the ultimate luxury. But this is still only a first step, and there's still a long way to go and lots of government support required before we find one of these on the streets of Iran. Yisumi Shahmadi, Press TV, Tehran.